Ever wondered if the real strength lies not in holding on, but in letting go? In a world where resilience is often misunderstood as never giving up, walking away can seem like a weakness. But what if I told you that sometimes the bravest thing you can do is to walk away from what's dragging you down? Stoicism, with its deep wisdom, teaches us that sometimes the greatest strength lies in understanding when to let go. Whether it's a relationship that's draining your spirit or a job that stifles your potential. Recognizing when to cut your losses is essential for personal growth and self-preservation. In today's video, we'll explore nine specific scenarios where walking away is not only the healthiest option, but often the most empowering choice you can make. We'll uncover how these decisions align with stoic principles, helping you see that moving on isn't just about escaping negativity, it's about making room for positive change and new opportunities. By the end, you'll have a clearer perspective on how to navigate these challenging situations and take decisive action for a better future. If this resonates with you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Join us on this journey to unlock the power of stoic wisdom and transform your life by embracing the strength to walk away when necessary. Let's begin. Number one, when respect begins to fade away. Respect is the foundation of any healthy relationship, whether it's with a partner, friend, or colleague. Respect is what binds us together and fosters a sense of mutual appreciation. However, there comes a time when you might notice that respect is beginning to fade. This can manifest in many ways. Others might start to disregard your boundaries, make negative or dismissive remarks about you, or fail to acknowledge the hard work and effort you put in. From a stoic perspective, this is a clear sign that it's time to evaluate your position in that relationship. When you notice that you are being disrespected, it's essential to recognize that staying in such a situation can slowly erode your self-esteem and sense of worth. For example, if you find yourself constantly overlooked at work, with your contributions being ignored or belittled, this lack of respect can begin to affect your mental and emotional well-being. You might start questioning your abilities or feel like you're walking on eggshells to avoid criticism. In friendships, a lack of respect can be seen when your so-called friends make fun of you in hurtful ways or consistently prioritize their needs over yours without any regard for your feelings. In a romantic relationship, disrespect might appear as a partner who frequently undermines you, dismisses your opinions, or fails to show appreciation for who you are. Over time, such treatment can lead to a sense of invisibility, where you feel unseen and unheard, which is incredibly damaging to your spirit. Walking away in these situations isn't about being confrontational or seeking revenge. It's about standing firm in your value. The Stoics encourage us to act with dignity and to maintain our self-respect, even when others do not. By choosing to walk away from a relationship where respect is no longer present, you are sending a powerful message to yourself and others. You recognize your worth and you won't allow it to be diminished. No relationship, be it professional, friendly, or romantic, is worth the cost of your self-respect. If someone doesn't treat you with the dignity and respect you deserve, it's better to step back and protect your peace of mind. Remember, you have the power to decide who stays in your life and who does not. Choose to surround yourself with those who value and uplift you, rather than those who drag you down. Walking away isn't a sign of weakness. It's a courageous act of self-preservation and self-love. Number two, when you're being taken for granted. Have you ever felt like you're putting in all your effort, giving your time 
energy, and love, only to find that it goes unnoticed or, worse, is expected, as if it's a given? This situation is more common than you might think, and it's one of the clearest signs that something is amiss, especially in relationships. Think about it. You're always the one making plans, showing affection, and going the extra mile, yet your efforts are met with indifference, or, at best, a casual nod of acknowledgement. It's like you're pouring water into a bottomless cup, never getting filled, but always being asked for more. In the workplace, this could look like being the go-to person for overtime, projects, or last-minute tasks, with little to no recognition or compensation. At home, it might mean that your gestures of love and care are met with a shrug or a sense of entitlement from your partner, as if your kindness is just a normal, everyday occurrence. This kind of imbalance can be incredibly draining, both emotionally and physically. It chips away at your self-esteem and leaves you feeling invisible and unappreciated. Walking away from a situation where you are constantly taken for granted isn't a sign of weakness or giving up. It's a sign of strength and self-respect. Imagine you're a craftsman. You've spent years honing your skills, creating beautiful, intricate pieces of work. But what if the people around you only see these pieces as everyday trinkets, not recognizing the time, effort, and skill that went into them? Would you keep giving them your best work? knowing it's not valued? Of course not. You'd seek out those who appreciate the craftsmanship, who understand the worth of what you bring to the table. In relationships, the same principle applies. If you're always giving and never receiving, it's time to reassess. A healthy relationship is a two-way street. Both partners should feel cherished and valued. If you're the only one doing the giving, then perhaps it's time to take a step back and consider what's best for you. Walking away from being underappreciated isn't about abandoning ship at the first sign of trouble. It's about knowing your worth and not settling for less than you deserve. It's about standing up for yourself and saying, I deserve better. Remember, Walking away can be one of the most empowering actions you can take. It's a declaration that you won't allow yourself to be undervalued. It's not just about leaving the person or situation behind. It's about moving towards a better version of yourself, where you are appreciated for who you are and what you bring to the table. And that, my friends, is always a positive step forward. Number three when it harms your mental or physical health. Your health, both mental and physical, is the most important asset you have. It's something that should always be at the top of your priority list. Imagine you're in a relationship that's causing you to lose sleep every night, where you feel a constant pit of anxiety in your stomach, or where your overall well-being is taking a nosedive. If you're feeling drained, both emotionally and physically, it's a major red flag that something isn't right. This is where the Stoic principle of self-preservation comes into play. Stoicism teaches us the importance of maintaining inner peace and protecting our well-being above all else. If a relationship is causing you more stress and harm than joy and growth, it's time to evaluate its place in your life. Think about a relationship where you're always second-guessing yourself, constantly worrying about saying the wrong thing or feeling like you're not good enough. This ongoing stress doesn't just stay in your mind, it starts to seep into your body, causing you to feel physically ill, fatigued, or even depressed. Imagine a scenario where every interaction with your partner leaves you feeling worse than before. Maybe it's a subtle but persistent undermining of your self-esteem or outright disregard for your feelings and needs. These aren't just personality quirks to overlook. They're signals that your relationship is harming you, 
and Stoicism reminds us that such harm is not to be taken lightly. The ancient Stoics believed in the importance of maintaining personal harmony and balance. They would advise that if a relationship is throwing your life off balance, causing more pain than it brings joy, it is a sign to reevaluate its place in your life. Don't ignore these warning signs. Stress, anxiety, and exhaustion are not badges of honor or proof of how much you can endure. They are your mind and body's way of telling you that something is seriously wrong. They are alerts that the relationship is more damaging than beneficial, and they are not to be ignored. A stoic approach to life involves recognizing these indicators and having the wisdom and courage to take action. It's about understanding that enduring unnecessary suffering doesn't make you strong. It makes you neglectful of your own needs. Taking care of yourself means giving yourself permission to step away from any situation that compromises your health. It's not just okay to walk away. Sometimes it's necessary. By doing so, you honor yourself and embrace the stoic wisdom that teaches us to value our inner peace and well-being above all else. No relationship, no matter how much you care for the other person, is worth sacrificing your health. Protect your peace of mind, safeguard your body, and never allow any relationship to jeopardize your well-being. Walking away isn't just a retreat. It's a powerful statement of self-respect and self-love. If this resonates with you, please show your support by liking this video and leaving a comment below with the word, taking care of myself. Your engagement helps us spread these timeless stoic principles to others who may benefit from them. Now, let's continue. Number four, when your core values are at risk. Integrity isn't just a word, it's the essence of who you are. It guides your actions, shapes your decisions, and forms the foundation of your character. In the context of Stoicism, integrity means staying true to your core principles, even when external circumstances try to push you off course. Imagine being in a relationship where you're constantly asked to compromise on your values. Maybe your partner expects you to lie for them, or perhaps they dismiss the importance of honesty and fairness, urging you to do the same. In such situations, walking away isn't a sign of weakness, but a powerful act of courage. The Stoics believed in living in harmony with nature, which means acting in accordance with your true self and your guiding principles. When you're pressured to act against your principles, it creates an inner turmoil that's hard to ignore. It feels like a constant battle between who you are and who you're being asked to become. Think of the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius, who constantly emphasized the importance of staying true to one's nature. He would advise that if a relationship forces you to betray your core values, it's better to walk away than to live a life of internal conflict and regret. Leaving a situation that compromises your integrity might be difficult, but it's a clear statement that you won't allow anyone or anything to distort your moral compass. Walking away from a relationship where your values are being compromised reinforces your dedication to living authentically. It's about choosing peace of mind over pleasing others and prioritizing your well-being over external approval. This decision not only helps you maintain your self-respect, but also aligns your actions with your beliefs, ensuring you live a life that's true to who you are. So, if you find yourself in such a situation, remember that it's okay to step back, protect your integrity, and walk away. It's not just about what you lose, it's about what you stand to gain a life of inner peace and genuine happiness. Number five, when you've stopped growing and evolving. Picture you're in a relationship that once felt exciting and full of potential. In the beginning, 
you learn so much about each other and yourself. But over time, you start to feel like you're no longer growing or learning anything new. It feels like you're just going through the motions, day in and day out, without any real progress or deeper understanding. This is where Stoicism offers some valuable wisdom. If you're not growing, you're stagnating. Stoic philosophy teaches us that life is about continuous growth and improvement. The great Stoics like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius often reminded us to never stop learning or challenging ourselves. They believed that staying in a situation that no longer contributes to your growth is like willingly walking into a cage and locking the door behind you. When you find yourself in a relationship that doesn't push you to become a better version of yourself, it's a sign that something needs to change. For example, consider a situation where you're in a relationship that has become too comfortable, so comfortable that it's almost complacent. Maybe you once had deep, meaningful conversations about life, dreams, and ambitions, but now those talks have faded away. The relationship has settled into a routine where there's no room for personal growth or shared experiences that challenge both of you. Instead of inspiring each other, you find yourselves stuck in the same patterns, week after week. In moments like this, it's essential to ask yourself, is this relationship helping me grow? Is it pushing me to learn more about myself and the world around me? If the answer is no, it might be time to consider walking away. It's not about abandoning someone at the first sign of trouble, but recognizing when a relationship no longer serves your path to self-improvement. Walking away from a relationship that no longer contributes to your growth isn't easy. It requires courage and the ability to look beyond immediate comfort for long-term fulfillment. But remember, life is too short to remain in situations that don't challenge us to grow. The Stoics would argue that it's better to face the uncertainty of change than to remain stuck in a state of stagnation. Moving on can be a powerful step toward reigniting your passion for life, leading you to new experiences and opportunities that challenge you and help you grow in ways you never imagined. Don't settle for being stuck. Remember that each ending is just a new beginning, an opportunity to explore what life has to offer and to continue your journey of growth and learning. Number six, when you're staying out of guilt or obligation. Have you ever found yourself staying in a relationship because you feel guilty or obligated? Maybe you've invested so much time and energy that walking away seems like a betrayal of everything you've put in. Or perhaps you worry about how your partner would cope without you. But let's pause and think for a moment. What would the Stoics say about this? The Stoics teach us to live in alignment with our true selves and to act in harmony with our values. Staying in a relationship out of guilt or obligation does the opposite. It pulls us away from what truly matters. It's not just unfair to you, but also to the other person involved. If you're in a relationship because you think you have to be, rather than because you want to be, then you're not being honest with yourself or your partner. Consider a situation where you've been dating someone for a few years. You care about them, but over time, you've realized that your paths are diverging. They might want to settle down in one place while you dream of traveling the world. They may be content with a routine while you crave adventure and new experiences. But instead of having a difficult conversation about these differences, you stay quiet. You tell yourself that you can compromise or that it's too late to change things now. This is where Stoicism offers us wisdom. Marcus Aurelius, one of the great Stoic philosophers, reminds us that we should not act as if we had 10,000 years to throw away. Life is short and staying in a situation out of guilt or a sense of duty wastes both your time and theirs. 
It's okay to acknowledge that your needs and desires have changed. It's okay to admit that even though it's painful, you need to let go and move on. Walking away might feel uncomfortable and it might stir up feelings of guilt or fear of judgment. But remember, a Stoic does not let external pressures dictate their choices. They act according to reason and what aligns with their nature. By staying true to yourself, you honor not just your path, but also give the other person a chance to find someone who genuinely wants to be with them. So, if you're staying in a relationship because you feel obligated or guilty, it's time to rethink your actions. It's not about being selfish. It's about being real. Release yourself from the burden of obligation and start making choices that align with your true self. You'll find that this honesty, this courage to choose what feels right for you, will lead you to a more fulfilling and authentic life. And who knows, you might even inspire others to do the same. Number seven, when trust has been seriously broken. Trust is the cornerstone of any meaningful relationship. In the Stoic view, trust is more than just a word. It's a commitment to honesty, respect, and integrity. Once that trust is shattered, particularly by something as serious as deceit or betrayal, it can be almost impossible to rebuild. Stoicism teaches us that we must focus on what we can control. And sometimes, despite our best efforts, trust cannot be restored. Imagine being in a relationship where your partner has been unfaithful or has lied to you repeatedly. Each time you discover another deception, a part of the foundation of your relationship crumbles. Stoicism encourages us to face these harsh realities head on. If you've experienced such a significant breach of trust, staying in that situation might only prolong your suffering and lead to resentment and bitterness. The Stoics would remind us that it is not the event itself that harms us, but our judgment about it. In this case, holding on to a relationship tainted by betrayal can be more damaging than letting go. Trust is the cornerstone of any meaningful relationship. In the Stoic view, trust is more than just a word. It's a commitment to honesty, respect, and integrity. Once that trust is shattered, particularly by something as serious as deceit or betrayal, it can be almost impossible to rebuild. Stoicism teaches us that we must focus on what we can control. And sometimes, despite our best efforts, trust cannot be restored. Imagine being in a relationship where your partner has been unfaithful or has lied to you repeatedly. Each time you discover another deception, a part of the foundation of your relationship crumbles. Stoicism encourages us to face these harsh realities head on. If you've experienced such a significant breach of trust, staying in that situation might only prolong your suffering and lead to resentment and bitterness. The Stoics would remind us that it is not the event itself that harms us, but our judgment about it. In this case, holding on to a relationship tainted by betrayal can be more damaging than letting go. Walking away is often essential for safeguarding your emotional health and maintaining your sense of self-respect. It is an act of self-care and wisdom, recognizing that you deserve a relationship built on mutual respect and honesty. In the words of Epictetus, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By choosing to leave a relationship marred by deceit, you are choosing to respond with strength and clarity rather than reacting out of fear or attachment. If your partner has been hiding things from you or has broken promises repeatedly, these are red flags that your trust is not valued. A Stoic would advise setting clear boundaries around trust because doing so demonstrates that you value yourself enough to demand honesty and integrity in your relationships. You're not just leaving behind negativity. 
you're making a conscious decision to create space for more genuine and trustworthy connections. By walking away, you're taking control of your life and making room for relationships that are worthy of your trust. You're choosing to live in accordance with your values and principles. This is the essence of Stoicism, living a life true to oneself, where peace of mind is more valuable than the illusion of a perfect relationship. It's about recognizing your worth and understanding that sometimes the most stoic thing you can do is to walk away. Number eight, when you've lost contact with your inner self. Have you ever looked in the mirror and barely recognized the person staring back at you? It's a sobering moment when you realize you've lost touch with who you truly are. This often happens when we're caught up in trying to meet someone else's expectations, sacrificing our own needs, or living in a way that doesn't reflect our authentic selves. In Stoicism, one of the key teachings is to live in accordance with nature, your nature. But how can you do that when you've drifted so far from your own identity? Suppose a man who once had a passion for art and loved painting in his spare time. He was vibrant, creative, and full of life. But over time, in a relationship where he constantly tried to please his partner and meet her expectations, he found himself setting aside his paintbrushes. His days became filled with tasks that made his partner happy, but left him feeling empty. He no longer recognized himself. His passion for life faded, and he became a shadow of the person he once was. The Stoics would remind us that this disconnection from ourselves is a clear sign that it's time to step back and reassess our situation. Walking away from a relationship isn't about giving up. It's about giving yourself the space to reconnect with who you are. It's about realigning with your values and rediscovering the things that bring you joy and fulfillment. By doing so, you allow yourself to live a life true to your nature, which is the essence of Stoic wisdom. Walking away can be one of the hardest decisions to make, especially when you've invested so much time and energy into a relationship. But remember, a relationship that causes you to lose yourself is not worth sacrificing your identity for. It's better to walk away and rebuild your self-worth than to stay and continue losing pieces of who you are. As the Stoics teach, our primary responsibility is to ourselves, to cultivate our character and live a life of virtue. So, if you find that you no longer recognize yourself, take it as a sign from the universe. It's telling you that something needs to change. Walking away gives you the opportunity to reconnect with your passions, explore your true interests, and rebuild a life that aligns with your values. It's about finding your way back to yourself, which is ultimately the most important relationship you will ever have. Number nine, when you've exhausted all options. In life and relationships, the wisdom of Stoicism teaches us the importance of recognizing when our efforts no longer serve a purpose. There comes a moment when, despite our best intentions and actions, the situation remains stagnant and progress seems impossible. This realization can be difficult to accept especially when you've invested a lot of time, energy, and emotion into trying to make things work. Yet, this moment of clarity is also a powerful indicator that it's time to reevaluate and consider walking away. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of focusing on what is within our control and letting go of what isn't. In a relationship, you can control your actions, your responses, and your efforts. But you cannot control the other person's behavior or their willingness to change. When you've tried every possible solution, communicated openly, and made every effort to improve the situation without seeing any positive change, it's a clear sign that continuing down the same path may be futile. Imagine being in a relationship where you've had countless discussions about improving communication, 
understanding each other's needs, and resolving conflicts. You've read books, attended counseling sessions, and even changed some of your habits in the hope of rekindling the connection. But despite all this, nothing seems to change. The same arguments occur, the same misunderstandings happen, and the same emotional distance remains. In such a case, staying in the relationship could mean ignoring the stoic principle of accepting reality as it is, not as we wish it to be. Walking away isn't about giving up or admitting defeat. It's about making a wise and strategic decision. It's about acknowledging that you've done everything within your power and that staying any longer might only bring more frustration and pain. By choosing to step back, you're not only respecting yourself, but also embracing the stoic virtue of wisdom, knowing when to persist and when to let go. Moreover, letting go of a relationship that isn't working creates space for new opportunities. It opens up the possibility of meeting someone who aligns better with your values or simply finding peace and contentment in being alone for a while. When you stop wasting energy on what isn't improving, you can redirect that energy toward areas of your life where you can truly make a difference. Whether it's personal growth, pursuing a passion, or building more meaningful relationships with others. Understanding when to walk away is a profound act of self-love and self-respect. It shows that you value your well-being enough to choose a path that leads to more positive and fulfilling opportunities. In doing so, you align yourself with a life that is healthier and more rewarding. Remember, the strength of a Stoic lies not just in enduring hardship, but also in making decisions that empower you to focus your efforts where they are most valued and impactful. So embrace the signs when they appear and have the courage to choose what truly serves you. As we conclude this exploration into the profound wisdom of knowing when to walk away, it's clear that real strength isn't always found in holding on to things that no longer serve us. It's about understanding when to release what's dragging us down, to protect our peace of mind and make room for growth. In a world that often equates resilience with endurance and never giving up, it's important to remember that sometimes the bravest thing you can do is to step back and walk away. Life presents us with countless opportunities to exercise this strength. When faced with situations where trust is broken, where we are taken for granted, or where we feel disconnected from our true selves, walking away can be a transformative act. It is about making a conscious choice to surround ourselves with positivity, to seek out environments and relationships that uplift us, and to embrace the changes that foster our growth and happiness. So, as you reflect on what we've discussed today, ask yourself, are there areas in your life where you need to apply this wisdom? Are there relationships or situations that you've been holding on to, not out of love or purpose, but out of habit, fear, or obligation? Remember, choosing to walk away is not about abandoning what once was. It's about creating space for what could be it's about making room for better things to come, for new opportunities that align more closely with your values and your vision for your life. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-discovery and empowerment. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and leave a comment below saying, sometimes it's better to walk away. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more insights on how to live a life aligned with Stoic wisdom. And before you go, make sure to check out the recommended videos on your screen for more ways to embrace strength, resilience, and the courage to walk your own path. See you next time.